This is Studio 5 at the International School of Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. It's a grade level, grade 5, that has been opened up, redesigned, and reimagined. This is a story that began in 2015 at Learning 2 in Manila, when I gave a talk about breaking traditional molds in education. It continued a year later at Learning 2 in Saigon, when Curtis Peterson and I spent two days designing a grade level model that we hoped would redefine the school experience. Now, nearly two years later, the students and teachers of Studio 5 are living these ideas, massaging them into reality, paving the way for change in their school and beyond. For Studio 5 to exist, four molds had to be broken. The first one was the timetable. We removed the unilateral power of the teacher to determine how time would be used. And we set out to destroy two misconceptions. First, that students are unable to manage their time without us. And second, that time management is as simplistic as students doing what they've been told to do in the time they've been given to do it. In Studio 5, students plan their own day. They design their own timetables from a menu of learning opportunities on offer. Skills lessons led by teachers or students. Workshops led by teachers, students, or, or visiting experts. One-on-one -on -one time. Excursions. Independent time. The second mold to be broken was that of the homeroom. Why do we put these students in a group and expect them to be with the same people in the same place every day? Why must their friendships be dictated by the class that we put them in? Why do we deny them the opportunity to work with like minds, to collaborate in diverse ways for diverse reasons? In Studio 5, four homerooms was changed to eight smaller advisor groups. But these groups don't stay together all day. They, they come together in the morning, and they set their intentions, and they plan their day. They come back together at the end of the day to reflect, to document, to look towards tomorrow. The next mold to be broken was the teacher. In Studio 5, teachers have the freedom and the flexibility to become a myriad of different roles, just in time, based entirely on the needs of the students. At the end of every day, the teachers come together as researchers to share what they've seen that day and think about how they'll respond tomorrow. The fourth mold is learning itself. Despite everything we know about life and learning, we still allow education to be dominated by a, a limited view of what learning is. In Studio 5, the learning is released to the students, a bit like it is in early years. They make choices based on what motivates them, and this then emerges and bubbles up into the curriculum. The skills and dispositions of self-directed learning are paramount, not an afterthought. There's a palpable energy shift in Studio 5. Students are realizing their capabilities as they unlearn their habits of compliance. Students are experiencing motivation as the boundaries between school and life are broken down. The answers to many of the questions about why things are the way they are in education are no longer acceptable. There's too much because that's how it is in our profession. But education is too important to be dictated by the jaded and the lazy and the unimaginative. We all know schooling needs to change. It's why we're here. Things are really changing in Studio 5. These students are reaping the rewards. 
but they're not the only students who deserve to have their school experience redefined. All students do. Don't wait for change. Make it. And have a wonderful conference. Thank you. Woo!